This is an attempt to build a solar oven like the one shown in this picture. The idea is to make it for a total build cost of $20. Alright, this is our parabolic reflector build. I'm trying to make a solar cooker here. Our bike rim, mylar blanket, and a bunch of tape ready. So we're just taping it off in spots opposite each other. Starting to look like a nice flat surface. And our next step is going to be to introduce a parabolic curve to it. All right, I'm spreading the bondo now. I got it all mixed up, and I'm going to just trowel it on there. All right, so here's the parabolic lens drying. It's not absolutely perfect. There's a little bit of wrinkling going on, but it still looks pretty good. So here's the back of that mirror. Uh, it did take parabolic shape from the water weight in it, and it did function to collect and focus sunlight. Here's another picture of uh, a smaller one we did as a very first test. Okay, so earlier we made a much smaller mirror and we're gonna make a larger mirror here. So this is kind of a concept. So our hope here is to be able to have enough sun power to cook a chicken, like a small roaster chicken, which may involve making two or three of these. Uh, but as long as the materials are good and cheap, it, it's really no sweat to make these. So it's really starting to turn into a mirror here. Let's take a look and see what we've got so far. Yeah. yeah pretty good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, stretch it a little bit more evenly and add some more tape. All right. So... Pretty nice looking mirror. So instead of using uh, Bondo or some other resin based material, we tr decided to try a really tough paper mache that's made out of uh, blue shop towels, plaster of Paris, and Elmer's glue. Yeah, I have the in internal. Okay, there we are. Now we'll go back to the water. We're going to do three cans worth. So I'm going to wash off grab some water and come back. We'll add our three cans full of water, get our bow shape in here, our uh, catenary curve. We've created a catenary curve here which is very close to a parabola. The classic definition of a catenary curve is a hanging chain and the shape that tends to take. So when we have this tight film, a drum shape across this hoop, and we put water in it, we get a perfect catenary curve, which is very close to a parabola. So, got a problem here. The film is pulling right loose. And our paper mache is nice and stiff. So that seems like it's got good potential, but unlike the resin-based build, the film doesn't stick to it. So we got a total film separation. Back to the drawing board. 